Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to talk about query folding again, and in this video, specifically focus on joining two tables together using the merge function in Power Query, especially when they have different data types for the IDs or keys that need to be joined between them, and how do we maintain query folding when we do that. So let's go ahead and review these considerations and hop into Power BI and get started. So the two tables that I need, so the two tables that I need to join together are the sales table and this channel table. Now for context, the things that I'm connecting to right now is an Azure SQL database. Each of these techniques for query folding can be a little different depending on your data sources, but at least for SQL databases with query folding, this is what I found to be pretty consistent on the practices and logic that I will be explaining. Now I need to bring these two together. I'm using demo data as an example, but essentially the problem is that I have a key on the first table that needs to be joined with the key on this other one. And right now, one of them is text. The other one is a number. Now, usually best practice, most of the time, you think that having things as a number is usually better to have as a key. Practices with databases and anything else aside, that's usually what I aim for. So my first thought was, oh, well, I should come to the channel table and I should change this from text into a number. So let's go ahead and give that a try but also make sure that query folding is still enabled. So I'm gonna come up, select the channel key, I'm gonna select whole number, and I'm gonna convert that. Now, unfortunately, if you right click on this, view native query, we can observe that it is being broken. Now, the source step won't always have this enabled, but I can technically confirm that it is working. If I just quickly added anything that comes after as a normal filter or some other typical type of transformation, view native query is enabled. So it is working before this changed type step. So unfortunately, getting rid of my filtered rows, this is not initially working. But I have seen a couple of other techniques online and a few other stuff where one recommendation is maybe changing this to a number, number dot from, and then changing from column types to columns. That was a technique that I've seen Mark blog about a couple of years ago. So let's see if this works. So it still is converting it. But once again, view native query is not working. Okay, so let's try one last thing. I'm gonna to go to this and I'm gonna do an add column. And I'm gonna use channel key number. I'm gonna try number.from. Let's exhaust all of our options before we eliminate anything else. Does this, that also breaks it. So clearly going from text to number isn't something that at least easily can be translated back to SQL. If any of you have a technique that you have where you can get this to stay working, let me know down in the comments, but at least it does not appear to be apparently easy to do. But what about if we come to our sales table, take our numerical channel key and convert that to text. So go into text here, converting that to ABC, that will link up with my channel table now. The change type is converting in this case. So we can come and see that it is converting to NVAR car max, so it is taking the channel key, casting that as a text field and passing that back to the database. So this join will work and query folding stays enabled. So we can potentially merge them together, convert them back to number if we need to afterwards, but at least during the merge now, these will stay folded. So now I can merge channel key with my channel table, merge those two. Let's go ahead and expand the column just to bring in something from the other ones like channel name. There we are. and watching this, we wave the magic wand. We can now see that it's coming in. Query folding is still being enabled. And then if we really needed to, we could come back and like I said, change this back to number, whole number there, which will finally break it, but everything before that is being folded. So it's gonna be per, uh, more performant and efficient as it pulls in this data. But these are those things where there's a lot of small nuances and sometimes you have a technique that you want to employ that maybe isn't what you thought would be the best approach. But the end result and the most important thing anytime you do stuff in Power Query and especially around query folding is you want to just make sure that query folding is enabled. So try a few different approaches, see what works or what doesn't work. This came up during a client scenario and it worked well for me. So I kept both of them as text before I brought everything else in, did all my remaining conversions and it made the query run faster. So hopefully this is something that can help you have some guidance on what to do with Power Query, especially with query folding. As always, drop some comments or notes down in the comment section down below, 
or any suggestions for a future video, check out some of our related content here in the upper left for some other associated content from our channel. And as always, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help my channel organically grow and continue to flourish. So with that being said, I'll see you in my next video.